Back on Woodworking with Wes today, we have another product that we have been using for our ceruzing process that we're very excited about, and I'm sure you will be too. But let's just stop and go over some of the steps that we are that we start off with and that we need to do in order to be able to make this ceruzing process really stand out. We started off by wire brushing our door. Now, the door that we, we purchased, just a, a second-hand door from a remodeled project that was going on. I don't have a Golden Oak kitchen myself to redo, so we had to start with somebody else's Golden Oak that they were redoing. This had a very hard finish on it, not just a lacquer finish. It was either a, a polyurethane finish or a conversion varnish finish. And when we went to wire brush it, it was like trying to go through concrete. It was really hard. Now we did make some progress, but we really had to scrub on it. So I broke out my Makita wheel sander and we went over the surface with my Makita wheel sander and broke down the outside finish. And then we went back with our wire brush and we wire brushed our whole surface, straightening up our cross drain marks by going across the bottoms first and then down the sides. Um, the wheel sander, of course, can't get inside the profiles because of the size of the brush on it. And so we did do our profiles, our scoop, and everything with our wire brush, and it was able to work just fine. We took that uh, finish down and, and put the grain enhancement wire brushing on it. And you can see we didn't strip the door. This is still a golden oak door. We've only just gone through the finish enough to get down to the grain so that we can... Uh, bring out that grain, that enhance that grain so that when we do our glazing process of it, uh, really stands out. Um, next step, now that we've got this done, we've cleaned it also after we did our wire brushing and we're getting ready to paint. Our paint that we're using today is a paint that we have found and shown before, Benjamin Moore Fresh Start. We just picked white. We're going to do a white door with a black glaze. Not that that's the only choice, and I don't want you to think that there are not a multiple of choices. You can do whatever you want, and when we get to our other product that we're going to show you, you're going to be amazed. But anyway, um, we're doing this because we're going to do white paint and black glaze or a dark brown glaze so that we can really highlight the contrast. That's what we're doing. But the color choice is going to be yours. You can make a base coat any color you want, and glazing that would contrast and give you that uh, ceruzing look that you're after. But let's start here. We're going to mix it, open this up, mix it, and paint our door with our white base coat. And like I say, if we were doing the back, if we were doing this in a kitchen, we wouldn't ceruze and highlight the grain on the back side. We would just clean it and paint the back side of our door just the base coat of white. We only highlight the grain and glaze on the front side of our doors and drawer faces. Let's open up our can of paint, give it a stir. We're going to be using a nice soft bristle nylon brush, which was recommended by um, Benjamin Moore. We've used this paint before in a different color, and I really like this paint. It's really a good quality paint. And so uh, for our Benjamin or for our base coats, uh, I think we're going to use this Benjamin Moore product. Uh, kind of exclusively for our ceruse because it does a great job. The one thing about it, and you're going to see this as we go through the product, this is not a sealer primer. This is just um, a base coat paint that we're using. In our past videos, we had to go back with a clear uh, polycrylic and um, seal our base coat paint in order to uh, allow for our glaze. Now, I always start on my edges. Looks like we're getting a real good one coat base. And one of the things you wanna do, and I've always talked about this as we've talked about doing our ceruzing doors, you wanna make sure when you put your base coat on that it's not too thick. You just spend a lot of time wire brushing that grain so that you would highlight the grain the last thing you want to do now is to put so much paint on there that you um, fill up that grain. Now I'm going to paint on this side over here so I can see it and then we'll turn it around. But um, we'll hurry through this side here and 
turn it around so you can see it so we can we didn't fill any holes or or uh, damage or anything like that this was not a bad door so there wasn't any damage and we're not going to be doing hardware or anything on this one so we didn't fill any of the hardware holes or hinge holes um, we bought this door solely to demonstrate this process so let's turn it around here and continue our edge paint I'm not a professional painter with a paintbrush for sure but this is a nice quality of paint that even I can not mess up too bad. In the cabinet business, we spray all our finishes. And if you watch some of my original ceruzing videos, you'll see that I sprayed my finish. And that's kind of where we got in trouble. We got in trouble because we were using a commercial spray um, base coat product. And then our glaze was also a base I mean, was a commercial product. And so we had a really nice result, but we had it with products that were not readily available to those people who were viewing, to you, our viewers. And so this is an effort to, to solve that problem. And we've been searching and investigating and just really trying to come up with a product that was just exactly what we wanted and what would be a great product for our, our you, our viewers, and we found it. It is amazing, and it's the the paint. Of course, has been a great find for us, but this glazing that I'm going to introduce you to, it's wonderful, and it just has solved all of our dilemmas and our problems, and and I just can't wait to show you that product. And so we're going to go ahead and finish our door. Let's go ahead and finish our paint and we'll come back after our paint dries. You can see what we're doing. So we're going to come back after our paint dries and give it a, a clear coat of sealer and then our glaze. We've waited for our white paint to dry. We actually had to go back and give it a second coat, which it recommends on the can, one or two coats, and we needed two. We are now getting ready because this is a primer and not a primer sealer, we now have to go back and seal our primer before we put on our glaze coat. So that's what we're going to do now. We're going to put on a very thin coat of polycrylic and that will be our sealer coat. We'll wait for that to dry and then we're ready for the glaze part. We'll stir this up. Again, we'll use a soft bristle nylon brush. And our primer and our polycrylic are water-based, so easily cleaned up with soap and water. And we'll do the same thing that we've done. We'll start with our outside edges, work around painting our panel the last. And like I say, this is going to be a very thin coat. We don't, still don't want to fill up our grain. And so we want to make sure that this is a sealer, but not a filler of our grain. This polycrylic is a very uh, nice product, uh, water-based, but also non-yellowing. So as we put, this will be what we use for our final coat also. After we put our glaze on, this will be our final coat also and it'll give us a non-yellowing finish that won't detract from our beautiful glazing effect and ceruzing effect. The nice part about all of this that we're doing today is that this is something you could do in your home. This doesn't require a paint shop, no special spray equipment or anything like that. We can put this all on with a paintbrush and do it right inside our home or in our garage like I'm doing and we can end up with a nice refinish on our, I guess refinish is still the best way, but we're doing an update on our old golden oak finish, giving it a fresh face. So we we'll want to make sure that we, on our final brush strokes to make nice long 
brush out strokes so that we don't end up with globs or spots that might cause the glaze to be anything but other than just nice and even. This goes very fast. A matter of just a few minutes. I wanted to talk a little bit about our uh, wire brushing when we were doing that. We talked about the fact that because this had a, a heavy uh, original finish of either polyurethane or conversion varnish, we still, after we used our uh, Makita wheel sander and our wire brush, we still only spent about five minutes, maybe ten, nah, ten minutes would be a little too long, between five and ten minutes to do our wire brushing. So it wasn't a terribly time-consuming effort. And there we are, sealed, ready for glaze, gotta wait for it to dry. See you then. Okay, we're day two on our ceruzing project. We put a sealer coat on here yesterday and we let it dry overnight. We're now getting ready to do the glaze and it's time to introduce you to our new product. Procoat is the name of the company that we got our glaze from. Now, just FYI, we are not sponsored by Procoat. This is a product that came to us by reference and so we have used it and we love it. It's great. We got a test kit from them. I want to just show you a little bit about the test kit. This has got 30 different colors of glaze. That is one of the things that we really liked was the selection. It's so great not to have to worry about what glaze you're able to get because you can get them all. And I'm just going to pull this out of here and show you. They sent us this little sample kit that we got from them. 30 little samples of all their glaze. Now, if you're doing a big project, you can get larger quantities, but I want you to stick around to the end of this video. We've got a special opportunity. Procoat sent us their glazing product. It is called Unicoat Hard Wax Uroyal. And so we're getting ready to use this for our glazing sample. Here is the color that we're gonna use. Like I say, we did a white door and we're going to use black glaze. Um, I'm going to apply it the way that I typically apply glaze. I'm going to put a little bit on a, a board here and I'm going to use just a, a cheap little chip brush and wipe it off with a paper towel. This is great stuff because it covers in one coat. It's water resistant. It's kind of, it's a, it's a urethane based oil, um, urethane inspired oil. I shouldn't say it's a based oil. It's a urethane inspired oil is the way they uh, talk about it water resistant and yet cleans up uh, very easy. I got some on my hands last time I did it and went in and just washed it off with soap and water. Um, I'm using a little throwaway brush just because it's easier to put on that way but um, I'm going to go ahead and do this little piece right in here so that you can kind of see how this goes on. And then we're going to work our way around the door uh, and, and show you all of, of the door when we get all done. But um, this is just such a great product. It reminds me of years and years ago, you, we used to buy a glaze that was an oil-based glaze and it was really good. You can't get it much anymore because of the um, EPA rules. And so it was kind of a product that we were not able to get a hold of anymore. And then we found this product, and I tell you how reminiscent of our old product. Look at that way that grain pops out. Now, this is, they, they say that this is able to, because it's water resistant, we wouldn't necessarily have to go back and put a top coat on this. We, this could be our final coat right here, just like this. And it's just so smooth. It has that, like I say, it has kind of an oil base feel to it. And it's just so smooth in its application. Oh, just so nice. I, I, I'm in love. I tell you, I, it's been a long time since I had a glaze that I liked as well as this. Let's just go ahead and keep working around. Let's get this door all done. Um, this is a great product and we're just so happy to be able to present it to you. Like I say, I want you to stick around. We've got a little 
extra special offer that they're allowing us to present to you. And we're going to do that when we get our door all glazed. We're going to let you know how you could get this product. We're going to provide a link to it and let you know a little more about our product when we get going. Okay, I'm just going to go ahead and glaze. And, uh, oh, I just, I, I, I'm excited about this product. I don't get excited about products very often, but I'm excited about this product because of all of the, of the work that we went through to find a product that was exactly what we wanted to offer you. It is just so nice to finally find that product. To really be able to, oh, I just love the way it goes on too. Anyway, to be able to finally give you the ability to do a finish like we demonstrated. Oh, that gives just such a beautiful finish. I'm going to turn this around. We're going to do the other side. I'm going to turn this around so you can get a better look at it right there. We'll just continue to work our way around our door here. Now they showed uh, on a larger surface um, putting this glaze on and then using a little spatula, a little uh, um, uh, card that they include with the kit and just wiping it into the grain and then wiping it off. I think what we might do, we might make another video and use that. I, I'm interested in seeing how that'll do. We're doing a door right now and it doesn't work as well on a door. But as much as I like this, I'm thinking we might, we might get a little more adventurous in the use of our new product and see how some of the other applications work. It stays, um, it, it cures fast. That's one of the things that they say is it's fast curing dries hard, but uh, it doesn't dry so fast that you can't work it as you're doing your, your door. You can see that I'm able to, to clean and clean up my corners as my doors cross there and wipe my glaze down so that it cleans it up and it doesn't dry too fast on me. That's wonderful too. Okay. I'm just, like I say, I'm just going to go ahead and work my way through the rest of this door and let's come back and talk about it a little more when we get all done. And you can see the finished product. Now you can begin to see that panel. Oh, look at that. Look at that grain show up. And it just is cleaning up so nice. We've, you can see where I've got my brush, got some additional glaze of where I had already cleaned. And I'm able to just go back and wipe that up and clean it up. 
because it is so workable, just so workable. And what a good product, very durable. And what a great job it does highlighting that grain. Oh, I'm just so thrilled that we finally found a product that does everything that we want it to do exactly the way we want to do it. Now, like I say, according to their product, because of its durability and its waterproofing, we wouldn't have to go any further on our door than right here. We could let that dry and cure and it would be done. We'll probably go ahead and put a top coat of uh, polycrylic on it just because of the fact that I kind of like the finish of the polycrylic, but we wouldn't need to. Now, let's talk about this special offer that they've offered us. Procoat has offered us the opportunity to provide you with a link that will get you a 10% discount on your product. If you link to their product through our video, you'll get a 10% discount on their uh, Pro Coat and you can pick your colors. It's a great product. We love it. We think it's a, a wonderful addition to the videos that we've offered you and the, and the special ceruzing process that we've demonstrated. And we just think you're going to love it just as much as us. And we'll see you again on Woodworking with Wes.